what is the moment of inertia? It is one of the trickiest questions to answer because it involves a lot of parameters. You will be asked to find the moment of inertia of some complex sections in this chapter. But why should you calculate it? Why do you need to know the moment of inertia? What is the significance? Let's try to understand. As we saw in the previous chapter, the first moment of area is used in the calculation of centroid of the plane figure. Now, let us learn a bit about the second moment or area moment of inertia. Moment of inertia has two terms, moment and inertia. Moment is nothing but force multiplied by some distance r and it can be understood as the tendency of a particle to go around in a curve or a circle. Inertia on the other hand is the resistance to this tendency of going around. Then what is area moment of inertia? Area moment of inertia is resistance to the bending. It is also referred to as second moment of area. So the resistance to bending of a beam is the area moment of inertia. To understand the area moment of inertia, let us do a simple experiment. Take a long ruler which is used to measure distance and draw lines. It is made of plastic and has got some elastic modulus. If the force is beyond a certain limit, it will break into two parts. This is the stiffness of the ruler due to the material it is made of. If it is made of steel, then the elastic modulus would be a bit higher and force required to deform will be more. Now, there is also a stiffness of the object due to its shape. This ruler here has got some breadth B and height H. If you hold it in a horizontal position or orientation, you can bend it easily. My fingers are like simple supports. So, the ruler is quite flexible. If I bend more, it will break at some point. Now, I'll change the orientation of the ruler and hold it in a vertical position. I have very less area to hold. Now, if I try to bend the ruler, it is almost impossible. It has a lot of stiffness. Though the ruler is same in both the cases, the shape of the ruler affected the stiffness. This stiffness is the area moment of inertia, the resistance to the bending or deformation. This is the reason the beams are oriented in such a way that the stiffness or the area moment of inertia is more. This is the natural stiffness due to the beam's shape. This moment of inertia is denoted by letter i. Now you know why you should learn and calculate the moment of inertia. It is one of the structural design parameters. Let us see the steps involved in calculating MOI, the moment of inertia. There are two important theorems which helps us finding the moment of inertia of plane figure. They are parallel axis theorem, perpendicular axis theorem. If you consider any plane figure like this plane here, there will be a centroid for this plane. The axis passing through this centroid is known as the centroidal axis. Now, we'll consider some reference axis about which we have to calculate the moment of inertia. If the axis is parallel to the centroidal axis, it is known as parallel axis. And if the reference axis is perpendicular to the centroidal axis, the reference axis is known as perpendicular axis. Based on these two axes, we have two theorems which gives two sets of equation to calculate the moment of inertia. We have I11 is equal to I bar x plus A into Y bar square is the equation we get through parallel axis theorem. I11 is the moment of inertia of the plane figure about the reference axis parallel to the centroidal axis axis. Ix is the sum of moment of inertia of the plane figure about the centroid of the plane. A is the area of the plane figure and Y bar is the distance between the centroidal axis and the reference axis. Similarly, I22 is equal to I bar Y plus A into X bar square. 
I22 is the reference axis parallel to the centroidal yy axis. Using these two equations, we can calculate the moment of inertia of different complex shapes. This is all about the moment of inertia. To sum up, we learned the real meaning of the moment of inertia and the formula to calculate it using parallel axis theorem.